we come to a totally different issue, and that is the issue of the thing itself, right? of the Be'en, where the issue is not the impact that the Be'en has on other things through being absorbed, through Bliya, but rather the identity of the object in front of me. Right? Is this object Mutter or Asr? All by itself. Right? It has to do with issue of identity as opposed to the issue of time. So the first topic we're going to talk about is Bittul Barov, okay? and we're going to see how that works. Okay? So first, let's take a look. Um, if you remember the sugya of um, Zro B'Shela, right? so the Gemara says that Mita Oraita, if I wasn't talking about the Din of Tam, Mita Oraita Beruba Batil. So Rashi says, I'm on Chulin Sadi Chetam Bet, the Mita Oraita, Kloma. Ilav mehai gamrinan umashvinan bitul tam keshar bitule de oraita veruba havalan levtule. If it wasn't for this din of tam keikar or whatever the din that's floating around the Gemara and Chulam and Daftarichet, which I don't want to go back to, right? If it wasn't for that special halacha of shishim or meya, then the halacha would be, and I said it's like all well, other bitul. So bitul mit oraita veruba havalan levtule. Now, where do we get this from? That bitul the rov, kedichtiv acharei rabim lahatot, talking about Sanhedrin. Sanhedrin, Sanhedrin reaches its decision based on majority. So, for some reason here, if we have a tarovet of um, different elements of iser and heter, so we go according to the rov. I'm saying it very generally now. Without understanding it, really. I'm just trying to say enough just to be able to talk about it. Okay? That's the worst proof text in the world. What? Yes, it is the worst proof. It's not, I mean, there could be, we fought long enough, maybe we could come up with the worst proof, proof text, but that's pretty bad, you're right. Um, okay. Achare Rabbi Mahato. Now, where does this come from? We go to the beginning of my second quote, Aleph. Amit Aleph. So the asks, Gemara and Yudalchem and Aleph says, um, the second line, Menaha milta de Amorabban and Zilba Taruba. So Gemara says, Menala? What are you talking about? The Khtiv, Achare Rabbi Mahatot. Gemara says, Ruba de Ita Kaman, Kigon Teshe Chanuyot for Sanhedrin, Loka Mebaila. He come by along the rubber the letter come on. Go on, katanu katana, minola, etc. Okay. So the Gemara distinguishes between two types of rove, but we're going to be concerned with the first type, not the second type. Okay? The first type of rove is called rubber the ita come on, rove shulifanai. The second type of rove is rove should the letter come on, rove shainolifanai. Just so you know what we're talking about, like very basically, rubber the ita come on, which we are interested in, is when you have the statistics in front of you. You know there's a uh, there's a finite amount of whatever it is, chanuyot, or a finite amount of people in the Sanhedrin, and you can count and say, this is the rov and this is the miut. It's the, the rov and the miut are the fanai. Ruba the letter come on, rov shu ain't the fanai, is very close to the idea of a chazaka. Uh, rov behemot e non trefot. It's not that I, most animals are not trefos, not because I counted every single animal in the world and I said that, right? It's, I know that the Teva rove behemot in antrifot. Oh, rove who brought your dot. Most women who are pregnant give birth to live children. Right? So even though, it's not that you, you took an instance of every single pregnancy in the world and you counted them. It's just that's the Teva Hadzari. Okay? That's a Rubid Aleta Kama. Rubid Aleta Kama has nothing to do with what we want to talk about now. Okay? So we're talking about a Rubid Aleta Kama. A Rubid Aleta Kama, we say, Achare, Achare Rabin Lahatot. Okay? Um, I'm not sure. It's, I assume that it's not given to be counted, because you can't count the behemot that, that are alive now, but if they're trefot or not, you'd have to kill them. Well, that population study, does that mean that you can't... Is it because Chazal didn't do it? Or if we did it, and I did it in one area... Um, I'm, not, 
I'm not sure, but I, says, but I don't want to talk about it. You have, you, you have to look at really is this is the chef's nice enough to see uh, if, he, if he talks about it. I don't know if he talks about it. Okay, whether Chazal are deriving it differently from the whole story here. Okay, um, it sounds like it's a different type of rough. It's not just the same, just harder to check. Is what you're suggesting. Okay, because then it would be derived from the same place. Just how would you know? Okay. Um, okay, with it's uncheckable. Yeah, I, I don't want to talk about it. When I said I don't want to talk about it, we don't let it come out. I meant it, okay? So we'll never get to Bittle Perot. Okay? So, so um, we have two things here. What are the two examples of Ruba the Ita Kaman, Rov Shuhulafanai, which is derived from Achari Rabin Lahatot? One is Teisha Hanuyot, and the case is that you have. Um, Nine chanuyot which sell kosher meat, and one chanuyot which sells treif meat in the mall, say, and you find a piece of meat um, in the parking lot, I'm not getting into the dinner of one now, okay, outside, the, not in one of the stores. Um, you go after the rove, and if since rove the stores sell kosher meat, you can assume this is kosher, you can eat it, okay? That's holchim, that's rubada ita kaman, holchim achar harov. Okay? It's called Azlina Bataruba. Okay? Wait, that's the Dinatisha Yeah, that's the Dinatisha Khaniyot that's not Kavua. Kavua we'll talk about. Okay? Dinatisha Khaniyot was Kavua. No, 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 no. If it's found in the Khanut, it's Kavua. It's found outside the Khanut, it's called the Parish Miruba Parish. Trust me. We'll get, I don't want to get to Kavua now either. Okay? So this is Tejah Khaniyot. The Sanhedrin, what's a, Sanhedrin is a, is a different case. There's a case of the Khaniyot. I have a question as to the identity of this piece of meat. Is it kosher or treif? Or, or to be more specific, which store did it come from? Did it come from Schmulkes or did it come from Vinnie's, right? So since there are nine Schmulkes and one Vinnie's, I assume they came from Schmulkes and not from Vinnie's, right? That's one thing. So there's a question of the identity of this particular object. Um, when I talk about Sanhedrin, um, I'm not talking about the identity. I have, I have three or 23 elements of Dayanim that I have here. And there's a decision that needs to be reached, correct? And I reach that decision according to the rove. Is that right? the identity of the person if he's a guy or um, I don't think so. Here, there's a hachra'a that's taking place. In other words, in the, you know, I create what Sanhedrin does when they say someone is chayev, they made the person chayev. Before then, the person was not chayev. They created something through the psak, as opposed to the teisha chanuyot. The teisha chanuyot is a beirur. Right? You want to know where it came from. So statistically, I can rely, the Torah says, I can rely on this. Because without the, the chidush of acharei rabbi lahatot, I would say, look, it's true that the chances are that this piece of meat is kosher, let's say. Okay? But there's a chance that it's not kosher. So who says uh, that's a suffix? So why did you say sveka derais lechora? Right? It's still a suffix. Ten percent is also a suffix. So the answer to that is there's a chiddush of achari rabbi lahatot that even though you still have a suffix and you don't know for sure, the Torah says that when you have a rove, you can rely on that. Okay. To make it mutter, not to make to it make kosher. kosher, or to make it us. You're not changing its status. You're right, right, right. You just identify. You're assuming exactly. You're you're allowed to assume we don't a certain reality, right? Okay, but in Sanhedrin, it's different. In Sanhedrin, you're saying that when the rove say chayev or potter, they create a new reality Why of the psa. Did he do it? Did he not do it? We're trying to figure it out. Um, but they don't know. Something going to do with what they did. No, we don't know. Did the guy steal? Did the, the guy kill a person? We're trying to figure that out. Either he did or he didn't. No, but the, the vote is. But the the, 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 vo- the vote is not about the object. It's about it's removed from that. It's a psak which creates a chiyuv. It's about do I think he did or didn't do it? Right. It's not about his identity. We know who he is. The question is whether something happened or not. And that, what Wilson Hedrin says is that he's high of, they didn't tell me that it happened. 
Right. So no, that, you didn't agree. No, you're yeah. you're, you're, you're conflating Ameri- uh, the presumption of innocence in American law with uh, in your that, 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 that's not what they were saying. I know, I said it's not what Raquel is saying. I'm disagreeing with her. Because in Sanhedrin, no, you could, but, but you could say, you could say the point is, is that if the, the job of Basin is to determine what happened, it's not just that they're making a hachra based on the evidence, the best evidence, and they're not making a judgment about reality. The same way, you have a suffix, start from there. I think that's a very interesting idea. The issue is that you don't know whether he killed... Whether he killed somebody. So that works. You're never going to know that. But what if you're talking about Sanhedrin deciding what the halacha is about some question? Whether something is... You don't know what the evidence of halacha is. They believe in a platonic ideal. Okay, maybe. If you think about that. We're already debunked the platonic. No, because I was going to brush with this. He doesn't bring the halacha case. He brings the... Right, he brings the zakai chayaf, right? But the Sanhedrin case could be... But it's not... He did it. It's just the question is, is he chayaf or is he zakai? Are you, you sure he did it? You can't really know. Does but again, so. Sakai Bachayat doesn't accept about whether or not he did it. It's about whether he is legally responsible. Okay, so let's not get into legal theory. Let's not get into the legal theory here, okay? So but what we have is in Teisha Chanuyot, I think we we'll all agree that, we, that we're saying that it's a Beimur of the Mitzvot. It's not 100%, but it's good enough. Right? We operate on good enough, okay? And most probably this is kosher, and that's good enough. Okay? And I don't stay in the suffix. In Sanhedrin, let's, uh, it's less clear whether it's a Beirur Mitziut, or it's the way you're machria. It's just the rules of how you decide. Okay? Okay. Now, when we talk about Bittel Barov, okay, now, what's the case of Bittel Barov? In Bittel Barov, we haven't talked about that yet. Right? We have, you have three pieces of meat. And two of them are kosher and one of them are treif. Okay. That is a situation of bittul barov. Okay. Now here, let's take we'll take this very slowly. The the rush okay, says as follows: the rush in chulin perik zayin siman lamet zayin. Okay, says. Um, the year e, the second line, okay, the second line of the rush, shemutar lo'ochlan ka'achat. You can eat all three at the same time. Okay, that's the sheet of the rush. And what? Okay, that the sheet of the rush is you can eat all three at the same time. The year e, he's not 100 percent sure, because we talked about this when we talked about how people felt about iser. Because how could you come and say that it's wanted to eat it? It's time to miss a leg, right? But that's where I think the uh, that's where the lack of certainty comes from. But Shemutal Ochlan Ka'achat. Okay? And it's not the same, I'm not going to get into the discussion but that he has here about Sveik Sveik, but it's not the case, same case as Sveik Sveik, where you can't eat them all at the Achat, because there there's no Bittel. Okay? In the case of Sveik Sveik, you're talking about something which is a double Chashuv, Midrab Bonan, and therefore it's not butter. you don't have Bittel Barov, so there you can only have a Hetero Yedei Sveik Sveik, and you can't eat them Chulam Ke'achat. Okay? But if we're talking about something which is batel, and mito raisa, everything is batel, it's a bit more survived, right? Mito raisa, everything is batel, right? Except maybe people, and that's also a Um But mito raisa, everything is batel, mito rabbanon, as we'll see, there are certain things which are not batel because they have chashivut, a briya shlema, a davashub minion, and those things that are sold by individual units, or a chaticha ruyolet kabei, if you have a, 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 a piece of meat which is given as like a main dish, so it has certain type of chashivut, okay? so those things are not batel, midrabana, midoraita, it's all batel. Okay? So in cases which are not batel, because rabbanan said they're not batel, there it, you have a hetero ide sveik sveik, which we'll talk about when we talk about sveik sveik. Those, those are different rules, and that's what the that's what the Rama is talking. That's what I'm sorry. The the, the rush is talking about here when he starts about Rimunei Bedam. These are things with special chashivot. Okay, but if you're talking about something stam, it's butter barov, and you can eat them kulam kachat. Okay. Um, Aval, I'm skipping down here about five lines. Chad betray. 
See that? It's, it's the end of the end of the line. If, I don't know if it came out when you put it the same way. Okay. Chad betray the davar yavesh. See that? I'm about uh, the first word on the line is yavesh, what I just read. Okay, so it's about ten lines down. Yavesh. Okay. Avachad betray the davar yavesh. Dafil midrabanan. There's no way to drabanan here. Batel. Okay. What does that mean? It's not mutter because we say it's a suffix. I know those five three pieces of meat. Two are kosher, one is treif. And I pick one up and I say, oh, probably this is the kosher one. This two are kosher, one is treif. That, he says, would be matir mishum ha So He says, no, we're not matir in bitul barov mitam suffix. The low mishum sveke sharina lay, da filu i achile chada chada, leka el chada sveke, u sveke do raisa lechumra. Because if you eat one, it's a suffix because there's isra here, right? So if if you look, you're looking at it, mitzad, the suffix, sveke do raisa lechumra, to be also to eat. El mishum de gzerata katuvu, dichtiv achare rabim lahatot. Hilkach, chad betray botel, and this is key. V'nepach iser liot heter, umutar lo'ochlan afilu kulan ka'achat. Transformation. Okay? Everybody's dream is being transformed. Okay? Your chatif is iser, and you just want to get mixed up with the heter and become transformed. No, he was transformed too. What? With no ambiguity anymore. Right. Okay. It's not what? It's not here anymore, right? Uh, he just got he got into it, right? Uh, so it's exerat katuv. So what we learn from Acharei Rabbi Lahatot is the nepach isur liyotete. Now you can't learn that from Teisha Chanuyos because in Teisha Chanuyos there's no ta'arovet of chatichot. You have one chaticha. That's simply holchim achar harov. If you're going to say anything. You have to learn from the other example of Sanhedrin, where you have to say then that the dat miut is batel. Right? You have the rov and the dat the miut, and since you have one hachra'a, you don't have. You know, so if you mifasei the dat miut, right? so the court sometimes the mifasei the dat miut. So I don't know today why they mifasei the dat miut. But that's the mission in Adiot with in Holim al Why do we have the dot? Because maybe later it'll, it'll convince somebody and the dot miut will form the foundation of a new day, ah, which may be rose someday. Right? But in the meantime, the dot miut is the dot miut. And say it's batel in the sense that halachically it doesn't exist. We only have one psak. You have to say it's either mutter or asr. So when you say something is mutter, the dot osrim, which would be miut, are betelim. Okay? So. That is the only way you can uh, extend Achari um, Rabin Lahatot to talk about Nefach Isu Liot Okay, so that's the sheet of that's the sheet of the Rush. Okay, um, now let's say the Rush Bar. I'll get back to the other things. The important outcome is that then you could cook all three pieces. Yeah, if the th- if the three are mutter at the same time, if one person can eat all three. That means that if um, you find out that there was a tarovit, and you said there was a rov, and you were matir, then it's all mutter, and you can, you can eat them at once, and you can cook them at once, right? You cook them together, and then, was, then you have nitina tam zebazer, but that's eating it at once. <coughs> okay? All right. So that's, um, that's the rush. The rush bar... And the Torah Tabai disagrees. Okay. Rajba says as follows. Aval um, Yavesh, I'll tell you where I am here. Um, uh, it's about more, like 12 lines down. The first word on the line is Vesheinomi no. But into there, it says, uh, there's a period, it says Aval Yavesh, Yavesh. Are you with me? Yeah, where are you? Sir? Okay, I'm in the Rashba. Try to buy it. Buy it, Dalit Shar Aleph. Okay. Um, I'm about 
12 lines down, uh, where it says, Shenomi no is the first one on the line. We're starting from Aval. Yeah, Aval. Okay? Aval. Yeah? Aval Yavesh vi Yavesh. Shuhu Yachol Leechol Kol Achaticha Bifne Kol Achaticha Bifne Atzma. Right? Each Achaticha is distinct. Ochel Kol Achaticha Bifne Atzma. Ukish Ochel. So, when he eats one, this is so Jewish. And he omer, lo zohi ha'asura. This is the one which isn't asur. Okay? V'chein v'chol achat v'achat. U'kishochel ha'achrona shebekulan. And he omer, b'ma shifar nechal haya isur. But we don't cry over eating isur. Right? We don't cry over spilled milk, and we don't cry over eating isur. So I have three pieces. When I pick the first piece up, when I when I pick when I pick the first piece up, I say the iser is probably the remaining two. When I take the second piece, I say the iser is either the remaining one or I ate it already, and that's history. Okay. And when I pick up the third one, I say, Mister, I already ate the iser. This one is mutter. Okay. The zoshalete right. Ani omer b'mashik far neachal haya isur. The zoshalete ri l'ficha hochel kol achat b'fnei atzma ve'eno choshesh. And no choshesh is sir, and no choshesh that they're going to make fun of you. Whatever you got to be called. Okay. So no choshesh. Um, and he goes on to stress. V'dafka. I'm skipping a little bit. Okay, let's see. The came. I'll continue. Okay. The came the yesham kidei shir bittul to oraita. To me, the oraita chad to trade batil. The efshar lomar b'chol achad shema achshav eno chel et ha'isur. He came to ach me devreim. In other words, you would think that these midrabanim they wouldn't put up with such a crazy idea, right? So, so since it's bottom in Torah, so they they weren't machmir. Shelo latzrichol shishim kishar isurim. V'davka leechol kol achat b'fnei atzma. Aval levashlan yachad asur. Why? Because that's like leechol otam bevat achat. Okay. Sharei chazar isur mitarei v'maeter v'arei kishar isurim adivlalim. Okay, so then you need shishim. Mimimino, you need shishim after mimimino. Right? Okay. So that's the sheet of, of the Rashba. Alright? Now. Um, the question is as follows. This din of the Rashba that you can't eat kulam You can only eat them zeachar zeh because it's, um, you have the rope. Is that, do you think, Minat Torah or Mid Rabbana? This is my question. Mid Oraisa, according to the Rosh does he agree with the Rosh? That you could really eat them Kulam Kachat. But Mid Rabbanan, only Zahar Or does he think, no, Minat Torah, you can't eat them ka'achat. Now, why do I raise this question? Because of something that he says afterwards. Umihu efshar. Again, I'm not sure. She'im bishel miktsatan miktsatan l'tzad echad u'miktsatan l'tzad acher shahakol mutar. You have the three pieces of meat, right? If you cook them all together, that's equivalent to eating them bevatachat, that's asr. But if you divide it into two groups, let's say you have seven pieces of meat, okay? Keep it simple, okay? So I have one group of four and one group of three, and I cook them separately. He says, then you can eat the group of four together. You can eat the group of four, and you can eat the group of three. And that's okay. Why should that be okay? Still separate. It's still a suffix, but it's not a robe anymore. It's not a robe anymore. If you divide it into two groups, one of them, either it's they're equal, or one of them is more than the other, right? Those are your possibilities. One is more and less. If you have seven, so you did that three and a half and three and a half. And th- or you did four and three. Three of them are kosher and four of them aren't. Yeah, but he says that then, it's, then you can eat both groups separately. He's not eating a divata hash. I'm just trying to figure out what's the, uh, three of them are a trade. Well, I don't know. One of, one of these seven is treif. That's what the story one is. Of the seven. One of the seven is treif. So I can't eat all seven at once, and I can't cook them at once. But if I break the seven,
seven into two groups, and he doesn't say how, right? But I do break the seven into two groups, say four and three, right? And I'm a vashel them separately, then I can eat them both, just not at the same time. It's the same as eating one for the other. It's the same as eating one for the other. Except I don't have I don't have the rove anymore. Because I was the vashel then. I don't have the rove. Oh, uh, that's what I'm saying. Okay. That's where I want to get to. First of all, hold on. Stop. Let's back up. Okay. Because if I now have two groups, and I was Mavashi of each group, and there wasn't Shisha, if there was Shisha, there's nothing to talk about, right? Remember, if there's Shisha, there's nothing to talk about ever. Life would be very boring if you always had Shisha. You would need 90% of your day. Okay? So we're talking about that there's no Shisha. Okay? So you have these two groups, where in one of the groups... You had Isser, Shemit Bashel, the Heter, and there's no Shishin. So you have two groups, right? You don't have a rove. You have one and one. That's not a rove unless I'm counted, right? So here you no longer have the rove. After the Bishel, it's Ke'achat. So how can it be Mutter if you broke it into two groups? Because it's still possible that when you're eating it, you're not eating the Isser. But, that, but that's just a something. No, that's history. No, 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 no. Yes, you do. You were eating the other two. No, 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 no. So this has to do with when you when you determine your question, right? In other words, when it's here, this is when I determine it, and now I'm eating it. Say, I said, but I go by my past determination. I don't need the chutzpah to be here. You can argue with that, but that's what he says. It's certainly reasonable. Right? No, but here, right, right now, I'm making a determination. It's all in front of me. And I'm saying, you can eat it. How can I eat the first one? It's only a suffix. It's not a rose. So, that's what I thought no, you just but said. You, because but, you, but when you separate them, you're doing the same thing. Whether you're doing it one after the other and you're taking three, or you separated it... At one that's point not the way he it, describes it. No, but at one point in time, they were all together. That's what his assumption is. Start that with the same date, but now yes. it's okay, I'm going to... I'm going but, to but now it's Mavashalim Kechad, and you're having each of these things. If I was Mavashalim Kechad, all of them together, there would be usher to eat. Okay? So why don't I say, because you can't eat the Mavatachat. But you need a rove. He goes out of his way to paint the picture that you need a rove. When each one, I deal with it atomically. Right, right now, this piece, don't talk to me about what was or what will be. Right now, in the eternal present, there's one piece that I'm talking about, and I say, I have a rope that tells me it's mutter. Wait, is that really different than if you had three pieces, you ate one of the pieces, and now you're only two left? Now you only have two left. No, but it's, it's maybe, no, but maybe it was, what I ate was us. So, so when I pick up, it, when I pick up the next one, I can ask, is it, is this the Isra, or is this the Hector, from, from the original three? But here now I cook them, and I've created four and three. And I no sure. longer have a rove. Because there's Nitinatama. Yeah, yeah, because there's Nitinatama. Okay. So for so, sure, half of it is now Usr. I don't know which one, but I don't have a rove. One of these two is Usr. I don't have a rove. One out of two is not a rove. So what's the answer? I think, is my personal opinion, that the Rashbav holds that you can't eat them bevatachat midurabana. I think Midoraisa, the Rashba agrees with the Rush, that, Acha, that because you have, technically speaking, you have the Rove, Nepach Iser Liot Heter, he agrees with that Midoraisa. He just thinks Midorabanan, you can't eat them Bavatachat, you can only eat them Bezacharzen. And, but that thing is only Midorabanan. And the proof is that even if you do away with the Rove, you're really okay. As long as you have. A suffix. Okay, so what, what, what happens here that, that allows it to do away with that rabbinic? Be- what? I mean, that's a position because why, it's sort of a, it's an extension of Rashi. Because Rashi, Rashi holds, which we'll see, Rashi in um, in Avodah Zara. Rashi says in Avodah Zara that when you have a rove of heter, you just have to throw out one piece and the rest of them. He has this thing, I'll read it to you. It's Rashi in Avodah Zarah. I'm not sure if I sent it to you. Okay? So listen, okay? This is Rashi in Avodah Zarah, Aleph. Okay? 
So the Gemara talks about in order to have a Dabash of Minyan, which would not be Batel, you would make this carefully. A Dabash of Minyan is one of those things, the things that are sold uh, separately. Right? They have Hashivut, they're sold by the unit, so they're not Batel. So the Gemara of Odazar has this Shita, which we don't pass in like, that actually the Mishnah, that you need two things in order for it for Dover of Chashiv not to be bought out. First, it has to be Chashiv. And secondly, it has to be something which is Asr Bahana. Because if you have Nevela, which is a Dover of Chashiv, then it is bought out. It's only if you have um, Chametz or um, some other Isr Hana that's also a Dover of then it's not bought out. In other words, you have the, the physical reality that it's Chashiv and the halach reality that it's very Asr, because it's also Asr Bahana. Those two things together make something not batel. Okay, that's what the Gemara says. So Rashi says as follows: Tati itle davish b'minyan ve'isr hana di ketati l'chashivuta. There are two things going on here that make it more chashuv, and that's why it's not batel. The chashiv isr did who? Okay, the low batel. Okay, now, but if it's not right, if it's if it isn't the davish chashuv, then it's then it's um, batel. Just a piece of bread on Pesach. You don't sell slices of bread by the unit. You sell bread by the loaf, not by the slice, say. So it's butter. Okay? echad mehem Vahashar kalbo. Okay? hu. Kevan the lab israhanahu betela beruba the chada shadi leklavim the inach sharu baachila. So the Rashi has this shita that when you have rov, you can eat almost all of them, the vadachat, right? But you have to take one and throw it in the hanahar. Right? That's it's quoted in the it's quoted in the Rama. Okay, it's quoted in the Rama. But I think the Shach understands it's a chumra baalma. Maybe that's the answer to, like, how could you eat the vela, right? So I know that I threw one in the Nahar, and to have a rove, I can sleep at night. I think there's this thing with firing squads. They always put a, one of the, I don't know if this is true or something, that um, they put a, one of the things, one of the, 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 one Shadi Chadal Nahara the Hashar Shah. Okay? Um, you need some sort of Safek Bukhozot okay, in order to be Matir. So uh, so maybe the Rashba is along those lines as well. That it is a Khumra. Me'ikaradin, okay? I hold like the Rush, that you can really eat them all at once. But, uh, you know. How could you eat them all at once, right? So you have to be able to say that maybe you're not eating them, right? So that not eating them all at once is a chumrah midrabana. Midoraisa, the rush is right, and the rashba is just a chumrah midrabana. Okay, along the lines of, of Rashi, clearly shadi chadla nahara is a chumrah midrabana. Okay, so that's that's the rashba. And, and you use the name with similar language to the rashba. Um, no, you're right. It doesn't. Really, but, it sounds I understand, but from this, Mu F Shash in Bishel, that's what I think. But just in all fairness, the Gra uh, the I'm against the Gra. The Gra says Okay, this is the Gra in Let's see the machaber. Din yavesh be yavesh in it arev kuvtet. 
חתיכה שאינה ראויה להתכבד, זה מדרבון אין לו פרבלום, שלדרבה באחרות מין במינה, יבש ביבש, חד בתרי בתי, ומותר לאוכלם אדם אחד, כל אחד בפני עצמה, like the rush but, not like the rush, אבל לא יאכל שלושתם יחד. יש מי שעושה לו אוכלם אדם אחד, אפילו זה אחר זה. It isn't even quote the rush. Okay? Um, so on this, the grud, okay, that מותר לאכול כל אחד בפני עצמה, so the, the, the grud quotes a number of sources to back this up. It says, the time of ביטול, do you see the grud? וטעם הביטול דעל כל אחד שאוכל, אומר זהו ההיתר, מה שאין כן בבת אחת. בבת אחת היא כן תעשה, זהו ההיתר, היא לא יודעת, זה לא רשבו עושה את זה, נכון? ואיי תוס צווחים דה דה דה. וכמו שכתוב בפרק א' בפסוחים, בפרק ב' לכתובות, בשני שבילים, בזה אחר זה, דברי הכל טוהר. בבת אחת, Tmei. So if you have to, the case is two shvilim and there's tumei in one of them, right? And, and two people walked down different paths, right? So if they went at different times, because of suffolk tumei b'shesha yachid, b'shesha rabbi b'shtohar, so we say they're both tohorim. But if they go at the same time down the two paths, then one of them is definitely tumei. Okay? So you can't say maybe the other one, right? Because it's happening at the same time. Okay, there, if you look at the Tosvot, it's two different people. It's the same person. It's two different person. It's a, two different people, but it's happening at the same time. So that unites the Pesach. Wow. Just let's accept that, okay? But the point is, if you look at the Tosvot there, the Tumah there is Minah Torah. It's Min Karadim. The fact that the Gra quotes the Din of Shnei Shvilin in, to support that you can't eat them all at the same time, right? Lo yochlam, right? Only zechar zeh, not bevat achat. And he quotes Tosfot, that if it's bevat achat, in shnei shvilin, not in chatichot iser, but in tumah, the shnei shvilin, Tosfot says it's tamim in a Torah. Um, I have it here one second. Tosfot p'sochim. Halachich be'echad mehem v'asat ta'arot, Tosot says, the im nagu shnehem be'echad, right, two, or two ke'echad, if both of them, one is tamay, one is tahar, and they both touch the same piece of truma, right, or, or they touch these, uh, one second, right, the truma t'meya, v'nichnas l'mikdash chayev. Okay? Is this like a no-dabbing time thing? Is it, uh, no, we're not talking about Nodah Beitayim. Nodah Beitayim is this whole thing in the rush, which I, would, which I wanted you to see as part of that whole thing, that the Nodah makes you decide when the suffix is, right? That's the postmodern, the postmodern uh, Mishnah and uh, Rishon. So does that indi- indicate that here he's, he's saying that the, that the, he's sort of eating them all at once, is in the Torah? Yes. Yes. Uh, so that was my question. The Rashbab, it says, it's us to eat them all at once. You can only eat them zahar zeh. My question was, is that minat Torah? Or is it maybe a chumrah? So I was medayek, I think that it's a chumrah. Just the same way Rashi says, the yuzorek yechad, as long as you have some safek. Right? And then you have the rov. So maybe the, Rosh, the, maybe the Rashbab also holds like that. That as long as you can say, I'm not eating it now, then you're okay. As long as you started off with the rov. Right? So then it would just be a chumrah. But the gra is saying, no, guess what I suggested? The, at least, he's not saying it in the Rashba himself, he's saying it in the sheet of the way the Mechaber quotes it. Okay? But the way the Mechaber quotes it, that you can't, the Ben Adam Echad can't eat all three at the same time, that is Minha Torah. Okay? That, that's, the, that's what I see from the gra. Now, um, yeah? Does Ravat Echad necessarily mean Bishu? No, Vatachat means just taking the Kibat at the same time. Sure. Bishul is an example of Vatachat. The 
Vatachar, otherwise, is stuffing the whole thing the way we eat two kazes and the on Pesach. Okay, right? Of matzah, so of matzah, of pesach, you stuff it all in your mouth at the same time. That would be one hechi tips of bevatachat. Now, the hechi tips of bevatachat is simpler. If you bevashel it together, so then every bite is bevatachat because it's all bit of it. Right, because that's, that's the more obvious bevatachat. Yeah, and it doesn't matter, it's just trivial. And you have no tentam that's involved. Right. It could be that there's a distinction that's being made between being mevatel the iser and being mevatel the tam in the bitul the room. No, not in this context. Not in this context. No. It's considered mevatachat. And there's no distinction. Right? That's what the rush goes out of his way to say. That that's why, that therefore you can be mevashalit and eat it together. And the rush says, therefore you can't be mevashalit. Right? So. Um, the other thing is, here, there's another sheet to here, which, um, in a sense, is the natural ramification of what uh, the rush is saying. And that is a toso, and that is a toso grit. Okay, listen to the Tosa read from Baba Batra. They should be rushed to Perkid Anoshe. Sheim nit arva chaticha chat shil chelev b'shtayim shel shuman hi betela berov umutar lo la'adam likach et achat mehem ulo ochla the Bataruba Azlina. Okay? So you take one of them. Okay, read really carefully, right? Certainly not. You'll see what happens when you take all three, right? But you take one of them, you say, okay, I'm Somech on the Rov. Ushloshavne Adam Nami Mutar Lechol Shoshtam. Three different people come along, right? This is um, what the what the Machaber says, right? They actually, it's one person. Because the question is, what unites the case? Right? Is it time? Or the, it gets united in the person? Right? You can't eat it with achat. But one person is you still have the rov. Or no, maybe one person is you also don't have the rov. Because at the end of the day, there's, there's three, three chatikas in the person's stomach. So he, at the end of the day, there's no suffix that he ate it. Right? So instead of looking at one sh- at three different shilas, the, what that sheet is that, that one person can't eat all three is I'm not, they're not three different shilas. Maybe at, in the beginning they're three different shilas, but at the end it's one shila. Right? And, and you, that, those three questions are united in the person. Okay? So that's what the Tosot Rid says. Right? And even if it's at the same time. But the, since they're three different people, each one can go to their own goddle. Right? And they get three, there are three different shalot. Okay? The ain't a shantoli no hag. Right? There's no ashantoli. It's not even a suffix. Bishte el bishte chatichot. To lek a ruba de hetela. The apal pish is shloshabne adam mutarim lechol shloshtam. Im adam echad achal shloshtam. Mevi chatat. There's no suffix here. Right? That this is minatora. Right? Im adam echad achal shloshtam even zechar ze mevi chatat sharei beveur achal chaticha shulchelim. Okay, so the Tosot Rid does not hold for bittul harov. There's no such thing as bittul harov. There's holchin achar harov. This is and this is a very important distinction to be made. The rush, let's take the two extreme she told. The rush on one end, and the Tosa's rib on the other hand. And everybody in the middle, namely the Rashba and the Rashi, you can negotiate, right? But the two clear she told are that the rush holds that there's bitul barov, namely, what does bitul mean? Just like in Lach. Just like in Lach, when you have Shishim, Nepach so to in Yavesh, Nepach Ha'isuliot Heter. And that's a very big finish. Mele in Lach, where they physically, one thing physically blends into the other, you can say that that which is in the minority halachically disappears. But when you have distinct objects and you want to determine the identity, it's a much bigger chiddush to say that the minority disappears. Okay, but that is what the rush.
Rush says, in no uncertain terms. And in, in just as uncertain terms, the Tosav Rid says that if one person eats all three, even in Zech even if he's knowing like the Rashba, he's Chai Bechatos. Because one person definitely ate this. So there's no suffix. Maybe as he was eating each one, there was a suffix. But at the end of the day, there's no suffix. And the, 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 the point of determination of the question is not when you're eating it, right, which is the way the Rashba breaks it down, but at the end of the day, did you eat it? I ask it on the person, I don't know the So at the end of the day, did you eat it? And the answer is yes. So for that, you have a So there's no bittel. Hold on one second. That means, according to the according to the Tosot Rid, there's no such thing as bittel barov. It is a misnomer. There is holchim achar harov. Holchim achar harov. So you have three different people. Each one can say, I'm so much on the road that this isn't the Issa. If there were two pieces, then that would be a Sveika Dal Raisa Luchumra, and that would be Chayv and Asher But if there are three pieces, and two I know about, and one is Asher, so each individual eating one of the pieces can say, I'm the Tzadik, one of these two guys is the Russia, but not me. Okay? So there you have Holchim Achar Harov, which is similar to the case of Chanuyot, as opposed to Sanhedrin, depending on how we understand Sanhedrin, right? But as opposed to certainly um, how we how we want to understand Sanhedrin. Okay? So this is very important. According to the Rush, there's Bittel Barov. According to the, um, the Tosafot read, there's no Bittel Barov. There's just Olchim Achar Barov. Okay. And according to the Rashba, we said that two ways. What? We said that that depends on how you want to understand the Rashba. If you want to understand the Rashba like the Gra, or that Shita like the Gra, then you're then you also hold there's no Bittel Barov, there's just Holchim Acharov. But the Kiddush is that I look at each, I, I, I top, atomize, not itemize, but atomize, right? I take each case and I look at it separately. When I take this piece, I look at it, and that's the way the Rashba says it, right? I take this piece, is this piece from the row? Yes. So it's mutter. The next piece. What happened before? Don't, don't bother me what would happen before. New case. Is this piece from the row? Yes. And the third case. Is this piece from the row? Yes. So in, it's the same conceptually as the Tosa Rid. Except where you de- how you determine what the question is is different. Okay? But in both cases, according to the Gra's understanding of that Shita, there's no such thing as Bittl Barov. There's only Holchim Achar Harov. Alright, now this needs to be clarified further, and it's a very important. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Hey, would he let you eat the second piece? Who? Tosa Rid. No. Whatever. No. No, maybe if you eat the second piece, you're high, totally you're ready. Right, for three pieces. Yeah. He doesn't say, but yeah, presumably. Can, can oh. you distinguish? Can we find Olchimacharov a little bit more? Yes. Olchimacharov is really what the Rashba said. I just go to, sometimes the way the Rishon say it, I can't really improve on the way he said it. He says, I'll just read it to you again. It's okay. He says, No, that, that was my my reading of it. But the Gra, not referring to the Rashi by himself, but referring to that Shita understands that it's me, Karate. Okay? He says, He says, I said, it's not the Isser, because the Isser is one of the other two. What do you do then? Right, this is what the, this is what the Tosas Rid would say. Good, but now, he definitely ate the Isser, right? This is what the Tosas Rid would jump up and down and say, chatas. He says, no. This is what the Tosas Rid is like, you crazy. You have three separate Shilas. In each Shila, I, go, I determine the, the answer to that Shila by the majority, by the rove. So this is really connected to the Nodan Bintani and that 
Because really it should be... What, what does it mean no Dabe Tai? Yeah, right now I know that there are three, and I know that one of them is trick. the time you ate it, you ate it and it, because it was mutter. And the second time you ate it, you ate it because you thought it was mutter. No, 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 I know. And Lima Freya, I know for sure that you ate what that you... Right, but I determined already beforehand. And, it, and so the at determination each point, was made at the moment that, that no Dati, like I took it, and then you don't reevaluate the Correct, reality, correct, the correct. We, uh, right, you deal with it, and then you move on. Right, it's a big lesson for obsessive compulsive people. You deal with it and then you forget about it. Right? You don't like go back and say, Oh, I ate that yesterday. No, no. That's history. It's not halacha. Right? You wanna know history? So we can talk history. You wanna know halacha? Don't bother me. Right? Right now I have this piece of meat in front of me. I wanna know what the story is. Is this the piece of meat which is usher? And the role tells me no. The fact that I'm the one that ate yesterday, but now I'm a new person. Right? It's a new case. It's a new case. Okay? Hold on. No. Alright. Now, there's something here that in the rush that has to be, there's something in the end of the rush which is very important, which I want to see together with you here. Let's get it. Um, The rush is bothered by a case of tumat masa. If you have a ta'arovet of tame and tohor, where the tame is metami v'masa, right? Um, 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 the veil is metami v'masa. Okay? And no sake of lato, it's not the arrow. Okay? Or tomat mate is matami ba masa. Masa means you don't even have to touch it. Okay? The fact that you move it or you're carrying it, even like, in other words, if there was a kazaif and a mate on this over here, and I went like this, even though I'm not touching it, that would, I would be tummy. Okay? It's masa. Okay? So he says as follows. Um, so even if you have a rove of, you have like, so you had three pieces of meat. One of them was Nevela. And two of them were Ksheir. And you would no say the three pieces of meat. Not Ochel, the three pieces of meat. You would no say the three pieces of meat. Would you be Tame or not? So that's a good test case to see whether the rush is right. <laughs> right? And this is the rush. So apparently the Gemara says you're Tame. So how does the rush deal with that? Okay, so let's take a look. Um, let's see. Alma, let's see. Let's see. Um, let's see. The Itmar Allah, the, it's on the second page of the Rush. It says, Yeah, yeah. Okay, so he said, let's see. Um, Abu Bimasa, line above where it says, Kufkafe in parentheses. Above that, right? Aval b'masa shehu no se kulo keechad mitame. That's the conclusion of the Gemara. Midi dehava amale tarvad rekev. That's too much mate. A tarvad is a shear. Rekev is decomposed human remains. Okay, that's that's what's mitame b'masa. The other perka or varotev the mitame b'masa uba oel. The eno mitame b'maga. If you touch. The rekev, you're not tame. We should a no gea because of no gea because you have to be no gea because the sheer tuma tumat meid is a kezayit. Okay? So tarvad, it's it's already decomposed and it's like afer. So when you touch part of the tarvad, the 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 rekev, you're not touching a kezayit of the rekev because they're not connected to each other. It's just mit porer. I'm sorry, this is grossing you out. Okay, you have human remains. Right, piled up, and you touch part of it. So if it's decomposed already to the extent that it's called rekev, so you, there was no nigiya bekezayit, so you're not tame. But if you were no say, right, then you are tame because you were no say it all at once. Okay. So similarly, if you have three pieces of meat, one of them is nevela, you would no say all three. So that's the vatachat, and you're tame be. Masa. You see? Okay. Mihidahava 
Malo Tavad Rekev, Dama Perk over a Rotev, the Mitami Vimasa, Uba Ohel, the Eno Mitami Vimada, Mishum Eno Gea, the Hosev no Gea. You're not touching the whole thing at the same time. In came Isser Shinid Batel, Nami Neymar. He's asking a question on himself. When you're about Isser Bat, we should also say that. Came with the Ademi notion that Vasef Allah, Hosev and Eor, Alba Kaman, the Ita Dami. It's all, it's as if it's Kayan still. Vinehi the Mutter Baachila, Mishum the Bittel Barov. Yesh and Omar, Shiochlam Bezachar Zev, Lo Kulam Kechat. But if you're going to say, okay, this Bittel Barov, based on what I see by Masa, in Masa it's all together and you see that it's Matame. So Machalot Asurot, I should also say, okay, Bittel Barov, but Bittel Barov is only as far as the Rashba says. That you can eat them Zachar Zev. But if you, if you eat them all at once, that's analogous to Masa. In Masa you would be Tame, and eating them all at once, you should be, it should be Asr. Okay? Mishum the Bimana Shah Kaakhil Khatika di Surah. What the common sense tells you. Right? So this is asking on himself. He told you before that all three is what the and he's asking from Tumat Maga that the Vatakha should be Asr. The Khain im Naflula Kadeira, right? If they're in Tbashel Bhavatakat, the Mitbashel is also Asr, right? The Yesh no Mal, the answer is very important. Mishum the low dami tumala isr. Why? If he just stopped here, he could just say, don't have me in China. You can't learn Isr from Tumah. And finish. But he goes further than that. The Tuma Yesh Shne Mine Tumot. Maga Umasa. There's becoming Tame through touching, and there's becoming Tame through carrying. Okay? And there are two different Shemot of Tumah. There are two different types of Tumah. Okay? Ula Ota Tumah. Shera'ui she yitma, kegon masa, sharehu no seyed kulo. Linyan ze lo nitbatel. Af al pi, shilnyan atumat maga nitbatel. For maga, since you can't touch the whole thing at once, you can go like this, and you go like this, and you go like this. At the end of the day, you touched it all, but at one point, you weren't touching it all at once. So therefore, you're taller. But masa, in its very nature, does not allow for the bittle to take place because you're being no say the whole thing at once. In Machalot Asurot, you have the possibility of eating it bezeacharzeh or eating it all at once. So since you can eat it bezeacharzeh, it's mutter to eat it all at once. But in masa, you're always carrying it all at once. So there's, so there's no bitl. Okay. And he's saying that there are two different shemot. Just because you have bitl by maga, it doesn't mean you have bitl by masa. Okay. But here, this is achila, and this is achila. You could get a different type of tumor. It's a tzara, or what would you say? Right? You could have a site that's not rekev. That you could hold them on both sides. Yes, but since, right, but since holding them, by its very nature, allows for zeachar zeh. But masa does not allow for zechar so The three pieces of meat, all, you're always carrying them together. Okay, listen. Amalinyan iser im nishargo shum tzadi sur lo yamutar b'achila. Ela vaday. Now he comes back. Ela vaday amra Torah acharei rabim lahatot v'naaseh amiut kirov v'lo nishargo shum isur mutar lo chlam beechad keechad u'lvashlam b'kedera. Aval achar sheribala mino. Neor v'havol ekiilu hukar. All right, that's the second thing. So it's about you mavatel the the bittel, but I don't want to get into that. So no, no, no. Let me explain. Uh, let me explain what what this is doing here. It comes out. Let's take a step back. I want to understand, according to the rush, how this bittel barov works. Okay? And here there are two different ways of understanding it. And the Rush's answer to the Masa problem tells me what he thinks. Okay. One way of understanding Bittu Barov, if you understand there's Bittu, yeah? I'm talking about Bittu Barov, not the Tos of the Tos of Reed, that there's no such thing as Bittu Barov. No, there is Bittu Barov. And that Pach Ha Israeliot Mutar. That's what I hold. How did that happen? Okay. One way of saying, that's exactly that if you have a mixture, 
You have a safek where you have a rov. So it all becomes mutter. And if the rov is mutter, it all becomes mutter. That's all. Beginning and end of the story. Okay? That is superficially the impression that you can get from the rush. Okay? The other possibility is more interesting. The other possibility says that, look, what pasuk do, do we quote? Acharei rabim lahatot. Acharei rabim lahatot. It's very difficult to talk about it. The, he, the Isser becoming Mutter. Acharei Rabin Lahatot starts with Holchim Achar Harov. Starts with, in a sense, the way um, the Rashba describes it. I pick up one, I say, Mistama, this is Mutter. I pick up the next one, I say, Mistama, this is Mutter. And I pick up the third one, I say, Mistama, this is Mutter. That's the Rush. That's the Rashba, right? The Rush says, yes, that's all true, and that's how it works. And since I can say, Mistama, this is Mutter, Mistama, this is Mutter, Mistama, this is Mutter, therefore, this is the next step, therefore, I say it's Bata, and it can't go three at the same time. In other words, Bittal Barov is predicated upon Holchim Achar And that is what the Rush is saying here. The Rush is saying in Tumat Masa, there's no possibility of Holchim Achar Harov. So if there's no possibility of Holchim Achar Harov, then there's no Bittu Barov. But in the case of the Achila, I can't take it to Zeachar Zeh. So I have Holchim Achar Harov. So this is the mechanism. One, I have a Rov, I eat it. Two, I have a Rov, I eat it. Three, I have a Rov, I eat it. And because I can do that, I say, you know what? Esk is into height. You can eat all three at the same time. It was the, in, in, in not in Yiddish, right, but in English, it means we have two different halachot here. We have Olchim Barov, and we have Bittel Barov. And the question is, how does Bittel Barov work? Is Bittel Barov something totally not connected to Olchim Barov? It's a little hard to say that since it's the, they use the Pasuk of Achare Rabbi Mahatot. So it makes more sense to say and what the Rush actually does say is that the halacha of Bittel Barov, of Nepach Heter, of Nepach Yisraeliot Heter, is predicated upon Holchim Acharov. Since I can do this game, one, two, three, then I can eat them all three at the same time. Okay? And that's what the Rush holds. Now, we're, we're going to have to stop in a minute. But there are a bunch of other interesting questions that are connected to this. Let's take a look at the Rambam. Okay? Here we have um, Rambam. Yes. Okay. This is the Rambam called Machalat Asurot Perak Tetvav. Okay, let's listen carefully. Nafal Chelev Klayot. Lechelev Ha'aliyah. Okay, Chelev Klayot is this Akaris. Chelev Ha'aliyah is Mutter. Okay. Vinimoach Hakol. So it's Min Bimina. Belach. Yeah. I'm going to translate this exactly and see if you notice something. If the Chelev Ha'alya, which is Mutter, was two to one against the Chelev Ha'kayot, was twice as much as Chelev Ha'kayot. Okay? Kishnayim the Chelev Ha'kayot. Harei HaKol Mutar Min HaTorah. Midrabanam it's Asr, because you need Shishim in Bimino, Atum in Bishay Domino. Midorais it's Mutter, as long as what? As long as you have? No. Well, all of a sudden, it's 2 to 1. It's 2 to 1. 66 to 33. Okay, God, I should like raise at least one and a half eyebrows. Okay? Now, let's continue. Afilu Chatichat Nevela. Now, this gets you to ask this question now. Now, is shtei chatichot just n plus one? Or is shtei chatichot two n? Which is it? No way to know, right? Okay, so it starts in the Rambam. Okay? Afilu chatichat nevila shnevava b'shtei chatichot shel shkuta hakol b'shtei yavish. Okay? And in Yavesh, it's harder to say that the identity of the miyut should be wiped out. Okay? 
ואפילו חתיכת נבלה שנתערבה בשתי חתיכות של שחוטה, הכל מותר מן התורה. אבל מדברי סופרים הכל אסור, עד שיאבד הדבר האסור מאוד זה מיעוטו, זה דבר חשוב שאינו עומדת כמו שהתבאר. אין לנו איזה תויף שישי. מן התורה, יביטו ב... Son, I have to change it, some sort of rov. Okay? ובכמה יתערב דבר האסור ויאבד בעוץ המיעוטו? כשיר שנתנו בו חכמים. יש דברים ששיערו בשישים, ויש ששיערו במאה, ויש ששיערו במתי. Okay? Depend on the issue. Okay? No. So it's not clear from the Rambam. The Rambam talks about two cases. The Rambam talks about two cases here, right? In Halacha Aleph. Um, I'm sorry, Halacha Dalet. The first Halacha here that I printed, right? In Perak Tatva Halacha Dalet. The first case is Chelev Kayot and Chelev Ha'aliyah. And there he says two to one. And then when he talks about Yavesh, he talks about Nevela Shidetava B'Shtei Chatichot Shel Shuta. So first of all, there has to be a chiluk between Lach and Yavesh. Doesn't there? Because Tosot Rid, who holds us no bittel, only holds us no bittel by Yavesh. He obviously holds us bittel barov by Lach. Correct? He avro, in the, in the first halach of the, the first case of the Rambah, the Tosas Rid wouldn't say Yechayev uh, Chatas for that. He would say, you go after the Rov. There's Bittu Barov. In Lach. Because in Lach you have a mixture. You don't have distinct elements. So when you have a mixture, the majority determines the nature of the mixture. You have to tell me, what is the nature of this mixture? And it can't be... What? Right, right. It, you know, it's just changed. Right? And you go after the Rov. So the Rov determines the nature of the Tarove. But in Yavesh, it's a question of identity, really. The mixture, this is very important, the mixture is in your mind. It's because of a suffix you have. The elements are still distinct. You have three pieces of meat, that's not a mixture. Your mind caused the mixture, because you don't know what's what. Right? So there, that's where the Tosin Rid would say, there is no bitul, you have a bitul, you have a mixture. Your hallucination, or your, your maya, or whatever suffix you have, is, uh, that, doesn't create a, that doesn't create a mixture. So, so you clearly have to distinguish between bittul belach and bittul beyavesh. Okay. So now you have to very try to try to meet in the Rambam. When he talks about lach, he talks about pishnai. It may very well be that even the Gemara talks about bittul berov and talks about lach. Min bemino berov, right? Min b'sheinu bino b'shishim. Min min bemino beruba. Yeah. So beruba, the Rambam says two to one. That's what he says. Because there we want to determine one thing is mashpia on the other. Right? There, because there that's bitl. Okay? Now, if I wanted to ask, so what about Yavish? So I could say maybe the Rama needs two to one also, because he, he sticks it together, right? He says one is a filu chatichat nevelash and the Rama shte chatichot. So there are two ways of reading this. Either it's two to one, the same way it is in Lach. Or here he just means N plus one. If he was talking about a uh, hundred pieces, it could be 51, 49. That would also be good for the Rambam. Or no, maybe the Rambam means two to one in Yavesh also. What, what is this based on? The question is, is Bittel Barov in Yavesh contingent upon Holchim Akar Abrov? If it's not contingent upon holchim achar harov, so then all you need is a majority. N plus one. 5149 is also a rov. But if there's a new halacha, a gzeirat that the, that the miut loses its identity, and it's not predicated upon holchim achar harov, then I can ask, well, what type of rov do I need to wipe out the miut? What do I need? So I could say, well, maybe simple majority is also good. Yeah, maybe. But maybe not. Maybe you need two to one. Look, 60 is 
the Avet Abraham Otsa Miutom, and we saw that 60 is significant for Min uh, Bemino in Lach Mido Raisa, according to Rashi and according to the Balma Or, right? If you remember that. So you have Shurim of Bittu. So you don't need a simple majority. If you're basing it on Hulchim Acharo, a simple majority would always be enough. But the fact that, that you could say in the Rambam that you need two to one, that means you're talking about Bittu, which is not dependent upon Hulchim um, Acharo. Okay? And that's where you get to, um, to these questions that you have in the Pisgah Tshuva, if you saw, you see it? Okay, in Pesach Yitzhuv in Ot Aleph, and in the Shach, in Sivkat and Vav, right? The Shach says, let's start from here, right? In Sivkat and Vav, chad, the language there also is Chad Betray Batim. So what's Chad Betray? Okay? It's Chad Betray Batim, Chomar, Berov. Don't think Chad Betray is two to one. A simple majority is sufficient. Kedichtiv, right? Now, you read this. You read the shot the first time. Of course, Klomar Berov, the Tiva, Rebbe Rabbi Glato. Now every word is pregnant with meaning. Klomar Berov, and not some sort of other ratio. That's the first thing. Dichtiva, Chare Rabbi Glato. And that's Volchim Achar Rov. So it's Volchim Achar Rov. All you need is a simple Rov. Vafiu Leka Rov, El Bahanach Trey, Shem Ketanim Mea Isur. And you don't look at the size at all. You just look at the events. So you have three pieces, I don't look at the size. The size is important for Nitin Atam. Size is not important for, the, for determining the role. Just look at the amount of it. So there, but there's a question about this with the Petitumah talks about and the Arab Shoma talks about. Okay? So to sum up, we have as follows. The Rush holds that there's Bittel Barov in Yavesh. The Tosa Dreen holds there's no such thing as Bittel Barov, there's only Hochim Barov. When you have Bittel Barov, the question is how does it work? Is the Septic Zerat HaKatuv, which is not related at all to Hochim Barov? Or is it predicated upon Hulchim Okay? And that we saw from the Rush about um, Masa, that he thinks that it's predicated upon the road. And from this question in the Rambam, it, it, hinges, on, it hinges on that also. Okay, next week, we'll finish up a little bit of some more sources, but we'll, have to, we'll talk about Kavua, and this question comes up in the Rambam.